Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about the last of the mythics that were spoiled and there's not a bad one among them. Out of the 13 out of 15 mythics, they are all over $15 a piece. So if you see a mythic, you probably made back the money for the pack. And that's how it kind of should be. Imagine like getting a mythic and having it be a dragon, like $2. That's a terrible feeling and people were not very happy when Modern Masters 1 happened. Now like the worst card you can get is a Tezzeret or a All is Dust. And those cards aren't even that bad. All is Dust is a $20 card right now. But if that is the worst mythic and our Tezzeret is the worst mythic, then you're talking about a set where it ten dollars is fine ten dollars is a extremely high price point for a product of any card game product i don't know if Yu-Gi-Oh has or card fight vanguard i can definitely tell you does not have a product where it's a booster pack that's ten dollars even if it's all foil and Yu-Gi-Oh is the same too they have some packs which are all foil but they're not like ten dollars a pack they're just about regular price now how crazy is it that Wizards of the Coast can make a product at $10 in it to be actually good. That's pretty crazy. Does that mean they can make a $15 product or a $20 legacy product? Maybe. And maybe I really do hope in the future they look at it and take this as kind of a test. But if all these cards are this good, then a $10 product, in my opinion, is not as bad as I originally believed it would be.